Hello, awesome people. Welcome back to Vassal Creation Video Tutorial. My name is Opokwe Fuyo Solomon. Thank you for clicking. In today's video, we are going to look at how to turn this fly that I have here into a 4x4 banner size, okay? So, I designed this one for someone which I will do a tutorial on it, on how you can do this one from scratch. But for now, we are going to look at how you can turn this one into a 4x4 size in photoshop so let's go ahead and do that so first of all i'll click on ctrl plus n to create a new document then i will change the size or i'll change the inches or whatever it is here this guy here to inches then i'll change this one to 48 because 4 times 12 is 48 and here to 48 i'll leave the color at rgb so when we are done with the design and we show it to the client and he's okay with it then we can convert it to cmyk for printout all right so to start with with our document set we are going to come here then first of all let me lock the background and i'll click and drag these guys here and i'll move them just here and then i'm going to reduce the size okay and position it somewhere here i'll go back and then this time around i'm going to unlock the background so i have this one here and i'm going to move this plus the image plus the test so let's move everything and i'll bring it here reduce the size and let me open it to fill most parts of here okay so let me move it all the way down and i'm going to lock the background so let's select the background and control g to group i can name this one as my background then i can lock this layer by clicking on this okay then i will select and move these guys here reduce the size a bit and then let me go here and what do we have we have this one here so let me select this alone then i'll click on this lock to lock that and let me lock this one as well so i can select only this one then i'll move this one to my 4x4 canvas and i'll bring this guy also here okay so something like this all right then from here we have this space here we can use this space to fill our date or let's position the time over there so let me select my time and i'll move this guy here and also i have these three ministers that i also like to bring them so i'll select the first one click and drag and i'm going to leave them here so let me reduce the size so for them to be equal size let me select all of them before i do that so let's come here select all including their name so let me do again then move them here i can group them ctrl g and reduce the size accordingly and you can position this one here as well so let's see let's see where can we position this one i think somewhere here is going to be cool so that i'll bring the date and penny over here then let me unlock this one so let me go back to the background and i'm going to unlock this then let me increase this one so it will fit and let's lock the background again and let's try to move this one okay so i have this group i would like to turn this one off and then select this reduce the size to somewhere like this let's turn this one on 
select all let's reduce the size okay then from here we have our date that we have to add so let me select this one date and where should we put our date so i guess we can place the date here so with the date i guess we should bring this shape as well so let's see so i guess something like this is going to work let me reduce the size so it will be purposely for the date align to center then make sure you align everything center and select all position it somewhere here then i have the venue so the venue is also going to come here i'll change the color to black or deep blue just like this reduce the size okay then i will align left here let me reduce the size because it's way way too big so this is also going to be for the venue and this is the date then also i think we have this come with your friend blah 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 so let's see if we can position this one here yeah it can be done it can be done but we have to create the layer on the bottom but i can see we have more options that we can make this one nice so let me unlock the background select everything and let's move this one on top because we have a lot of space up there so let's move that up and we can bring this one down okay let's go a bit small all right then let me place this one in position and this one here align to center and we can bring this shape over there okay so guys if you want to see the whole video like how i created everything from scratch please leave a comment below you know this is my first video in 2023 with a voiceover uh, if you haven't watched the first video that i posted in 2023 concerning a logo design in illustrator please go and watch that video and if you want to see illustrator videos from me please leave me a comment below to know if you are interested okay i even have a course on illustrator and also my full course on adobe photoshop is also ready i'll be posting it in no time it's very it's going to be very affordable you can access it through your mobile money and you can learn a lot from me you know with my past experience over six to seven years experience in graphic design i'm sharing all of them with you so you also know what i know okay so if you are interested please uh, make sure you check the links that i'll put down below and please if you want this psd file and the first one that i did and several psd files that you can see i have two options you can either buy them at my store where you have access to choose what you want or you can also do a one-time purchase where you get access to all my psd files on my digital store okay so including the new design that i will be doing okay so you can check both of the links to see what suits you okay so this is the first design and this is what we have turned this one into so i think we had some thing here so let me bring this one here reduce the size way 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 too big 
and i'm going to use a shortcut to move it all the way down okay so if you want to learn all these things please make sure you check my beginners photoshop that i'll be uploading in no time i'm going to announce it very soon so you guys should stay tuned for that okay all right so that's how you can turn a design into a different size okay it's very simple but you have to know what you are doing okay so you can't just stand up and say you are going to do this you must have the idea the basis the reason why we do this the reason why we don't do that okay so with all those things if you have them everything is going to be easy for you otherwise you are going to struggle so if you don't want to struggle like i did when i started this then get my course okay and also if you want to earn money and also save some stress then you can check these psd files where we have like the background is already designed so you just have to be replacing your own test and stuff and then you are good to go so with this one i would like to put an icon there to show that this is sort this is the venue so I have this one that I would like to paste it there. So click and drag this one here, reduce the size, and then I'm going to position it this way. And also let me copy this gradient. So copy layer style and let me paste the layer style here. Okay, so that people will notice that this is that. The time is also going to be here. So let's see if I can use something to show or showcase the time. So let me use something to point the time so that people will not see we didn't see the time. We didn't see the time. So let's see. Let's try to make it white and see. So I'll double click to open the layer style, select color overlay. Let's see orange. I think white will be best. Yeah, so that was it for this video. Thank you very much for clicking and thank you for watching my videos. I really love you. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and let's learn together. Keep creating, never give up. Until next time, peace. I'm out.